Okay, everyone, you got Mark from Aussie Heads and Race Engines here again. Um, we're back up on the big block again. This time, nearly ready to put it on the engine stand. It's been washed up and can bearing up. What I'm doing with this uh, fella, we're running a roller hydraulic camshaft, roller cam. Because we're running a roller, um, they don't have thrust plates on chevs in the camshaft, and there's nothing stopping the cam from, shaft from moving forward. On a hydraulic and solar camshafts, they rely on the actual helix, helix of the gear on the distributor to actually push the cam back. Also on hydraulics and solid camshafts, on your profile, they're actually tapered across here, across the nose, the camshaft here has got a taper. And on your lifter, it's got a slight radius like that, which makes the lifter turn and spin so the lifters don't wear out. Also, that also pushes the camshaft back to its cam, cam gear on your thrust here. Um, like I said, because this is a roller, this thing can move back and forth. So what we have in here is a little button in there. And what I've done is assembled it all up with a gasket and everything. And got a dial on the back here. And we're just setting our cam, camshaft end float. Um, standard is usually about four to eight thou. That's a, just a general rule of thumb. And um, so basically, if we set him up here on five, there, and we just push him back by hand, like that, and we've got zero. There's our five thou. There. So that's all set. So that's our camshaft inflow done. So that's very important on everything with a roller camshaft you have to run a button on a shed um, with compression ratios before we get right into it um, compression ratios and capacity we'll uh, have a look at um, we've decked the block to zero deck height so basically with compression ratio I've drawn a sort of photo here this is sort of like a, a piston and your cylinder right your combustion chamber on top head gasket right so with compression ratio everyone sort of gets mixed up like if you machine a head it doesn't increase the size of the engine it only com compression ratio only um, changes compression ratio it doesn't change the size of your engine the only thing that changes the size of your engine is your sweat volume which is your bore times your stroke right so it's your, your bore times your stroke right that is your actual capacity of an engine times the amount of cylinders Right, so to get our compression ratio, it's pretty easy. All it is is we measure the whole volume of our cylinder, head gasket, how far or below we are, top dead centre, head gasket, combustion chamber area. Um, and all it is is when the piston's down at bottom dead centre, we get all this volume, right, and we all um, measure that and calculate that up. And then that is then divided by the, the clearance volume up here this much. So from this going into this is what the compression ratio is. So that's how we get compression ratios. Um, with this one here, as I've worked out our clearance volume, we've got 92.8 cc, sorry. Our combustion chamber is 120, our head gasket's 11.2, and the dome of our piston's 38. Our sweat volume, we do all our maths here, our bore, which is 1.55 uh, times as you square it. That is a constant, right? And times our stroke, that actually figure will give us the amount into cc's. So basically once we've got all our sweat volume, which is 888.77, then we add our clearance volume, which is 92.8, we get 881 and we do it, divide it by that 80, 92.8, which is our clearance volume, and what I get here is 10.5771. Now that's with our head at 120 cc's. So if we want, you know, if you want to drop it down, I've worked it out. Every 
cc you take out point one roughly of a point so like if i was to do that at 125 cc's the head we'd jump down to 10 to 1 compression so we're going to leave this at about 10.5 and that'll give him excellent bang for buck when he runs 98 fuel so basically that's all on compression ratios and um, capacity and um, yeah it's, there's not much to it basically so that's it for now and um, we'll catch you later when we get this back on an engine stand now I'll just um, give it a wash up again plug up the back area and give it a paint so we can just put it on our cradle and get it on the engine stand and here we go ready for our build okay people thanks a lot